But it was an old news story from 2020. Mia, the rapper, associated with a website called Omni, or Omni. Om for a value of resistance and or impedance, and Ni could be a symbol for a certain element, or it could just be the knights that say Ni. That has a registered trademark. I'm acknowledging it. Silver Street Shield, registered trademark, and Faraday Fabrics. Faraday Fabric is actually a term that's almost genericized, but not quite. Electromagnetic waves travel along a conductive silver, copper, or nickel woven fabric material's surface due to free electrons rather than passing through it. And it's 99.999% effective. Totally not a number people just pull out of their ass. Mia, or Maya, released Omni 2020-91 on 2020, March 22nd the 81st day of the year. April 1st is usually the 91st day of the year. So it could be April Fool's Day uh, 2020, except 2020, March 31, was the 91st day of 2020, or something like that. It was a leap year, so it's going to have a different timing. But for the most part, day 91 of every year, except for, you know, the four, you know a leap year, will be April Fool's Day. Mia released a, uh, a work called Omni 2020, April Fool's Day. So, uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, warning, I'm, I'm a computer security geek and blah, 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 and I advise people to use literally just a piece of uh, cardboard that happens to be conductive on one side to shield your cards and uh, that sort of thing because that's actually a thing because they, if they have the ability to be detected by RFID kind of sort of thing, it could technically be a problem. It's not a big deal, obviously, but you kind of want to be, you know, better safe than sorry. But I don't advise wearing tinfoil hats, which, um, uh, yeah, 100% brain coverage blocks 99.99% of Wi-Fi, 4G, 5G reaching your brain. Reversible two-dome design made with pure copper and nickel Faraday fabric. Or silver. Okay. And here she is modeling some of the clothes. Some of them are flexible clothes for the subject. Uh, the conspiracy-friendly uh, stuff on Alex Jones Infowars. So, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's just jump in. Ohm protection leggings. Obviously, the OHM is referring to Ohm. Um, and, uh, yeah. And here we are with this one. Uh, Ohm protection sports top, silver stitched. Good. Uh, silver integrated. Full shield armored T. T-shirt. Okay. Let's move up. You might have heard of Tommy Copper. Well, this is uh, Mia Silver. Um, Sacred Heart tea with one patch here. Data protection wrist pouch. It's a purse, isn't it? Uh, here we go with uh, trackless track pants. Uh, trackless hoodie, as in yarn being tracked. Potency fitted boxer, appealing to your... Uh, uh, yes, anyway, um, here we are with some more stuff. Stealth bottoms, they can't see your ass. Uh, Lux Health Stealth uh, Hoodie, uh, very friendly for black and white photography. Brain Protection Durang, there. Uh, Ohm Protection Dress, $400. Full Shield Armored T. Uh, full Shield Graphic uh, Armor T. T. Uh, protected pr Potency Jeans. Covert potency genes, you know, not showing it off. Uh, protection puffer, or is it fluffer? Uh, silver stealth hat. Uh, it's, it's a liner or not, probably in there. Um, some of these are reversible, so you probably take this one, turn it inside out, and it won't show it. Um, okay. And uh, anti-facial recognition software. And I want to point out something real quick about that. Um, I approve. Uh, if you're not aware of this, radio frequency shielding cloth has a secondary characteristic. It blocks thermal cameras in a lot of cases and prevents 
the cameras from recording people simply because they're releasing a heat signature. Not all, but most of the um, RF proofing cloth, which if you can find stuff that's comfortable for a long time, that's a plus. But it mostly has a secondary effect where it will block thermal. This one is essentially a, a poncho, she's saying, but this is basically see-through stuff here. And yeah, if it's, in fact, if it's more spaced out, it will block radio frequency somewhat better. As the joke goes, it's not that you want a sheet of tinfoil, it's that you want insect screen, you know, bug screen. But the tinfoil hat, I, not gonna lie, seriously want one because I would totally rock that. So let's move on. Um, Faraday fabric is a genericized term. It's been around for a while, yada, yada, yada. Here we are. Uh, Faraday cloth, this is 118 inches by 43 inches, and this is a big swatch of it. And here's the tape to go with it. And is this a gimmick? If it conducts electricity when you put a multimeter on it and it shows that you're getting below 5 ohms impedance from like one side to another over a one foot distance, something low like that, then yeah, it is actually RF, uh, RF uh, shielding material. But let's talk about the uh, feed horn effect. Let's go down to the pants. Got to get a good picture of this. Here we go. Any radio frequency source that's below this man's legs at his feet is going to be focused by the pants instead of blocked because we're all made of meat and water. And if you're worried about the radio signals getting more than one millimeter deep, then this will focus it. Same thing with a hat. In fact, it will create a parabolic reflector and aim it into the core of your skull. Not really. That literally is, that, that's really a thing. It might just well be wearing a pot parabolic dish. The um, squared off hat, however, would act as a direct reflector and not do as much uh, focusing. But this would not be, uh, what was brought up? Uh, Wi-Fi and uh, 4G and 5G? Higher frequencies can't go through the surface of your skin. Their max depth uh, is maybe a millimeter or less, no matter how much power, because they can't do it. They just can't get through it. Um, but low frequencies, like an AM radio station, or let's say you're walking over, uh, let's say, uh, a subway, it's going to release RF signals across the entire spectrum. It's called flying the spectrum from the arcing. And those will be odd harmonics all the way from what we call dirt to space, to infinity and beyond. Every frequency is done by those spikes and crackles, just about, just at varying intensity levels. The lower the frequency, the deeper it can go into your tissue, not less. It, you, if higher frequencies don't have depth of, you know, whatever. The conductivity on surface, the skin effect, happens at most frequencies, however, and we'll definitely do so at 50 million cycles per second above. But if there's an opening that isn't completely shielded, this acts as a feed horn and concentrator. In fact, from the other way around, from the sky or from a radio tower you walk under, it would fix focus it into the legs, groin, and kidneys, and lower intestines, as well as the small, small intestines specifically, but the lower section of your intestines, which includes your large and small intestines. Uh, intestines. Is this worth worrying about? No, not for human biology or anything like that, not for your brain, nothing. Because these signals do not have an effect. If they did, people wearing this sort of clothing would experience medical problems that would be very obviously different than everybody else. However, um, again, if you want to keep yourself from showing up on the newer facial recognition systems that don't map what your face looks like, but map the heat signature, which doesn't change no matter what time of day it is, because it's not visual, it's heat. If you want to block it, wearing a hoodie or this would work, or just wearing this and tilting your head forward. And if you don't want the machines paying attention to you, Wearing anything that keeps the heat from being released in a pattern that makes sense and looks like a human is to your advantage. So spending 24 bucks on 43 inches by 118 inches of material versus $200 for a poncho. By the way, the poncho is what you'd want. It's not conforming to any particular shape, has a hard time acting like a feed horn, and uh, you could use it to cover yourself and it would 
confuse the crap out of any smart system most of the time. I won't even bring these up, although I could see that at the disco. It's good club wear. Uh, but again, she released this with the name of a video, a, a, a song, excuse me, called Ohm Me. Uh, 2020 and then 91st day of the year, which is usually April 1st, but that year it wasn't. It was probably March 31st. So totally not uh, MIA or Maya or Mia uh, taking the piss. Totally not. Not that at all. This is to totally ev everything's fine. No nothing to see here. Do not look behind the curtain. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And uh, yeah, this is entertaining at the bare minimum. Bye.